Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've entered in a program into the Heathkit microprocessor trainer that is scrolling a message across these six eight segment LED displays. And I'm hoping you can read it. I'm trying to trick you into seeing letters that I can't actually create with these eight segment LED displays. If you look closely, it's probably um, less readable. I don't know. You know how they have these psychological experiments where you can write something on the chalkboard and your brain will fill it in? Uh, I forget the specifics. Um, but I was trying to see if that would have the same effect here because you can't create a, a T and you can't create an M just a lot of things that uh, it's very limiting with the eight segment display it's it's mostly for numbers so I thought we would just take a closer look at how we're lighting up these individual segments on these eight segment LED displays and how that ties in with the hexadecimal number system and this hexadecimal keypad so I don't know if you could make it out this is the message that I was displaying in ticker tape fashion uh, it's high E-Tech Tom's channel here and like I said you can't really you can't create the T so I was trying to have the T formed by two segments uh, or two displays displaying these individual segments sort of upside down L's and I was hoping the ticker tape effect would sort of maybe blend in and make you see uh, a T. Also you can't create an M so there's two N looking type of characters together trying to produce an M. So that's as close as I could get. So it's hard for me to say whether or not you saw the T and the M because I know how it was created so when I looked at it I see the two upside down L's and then the two N characters together. So this is what the individual segments look like on the eight segment LED display. This is one of the displays and each one of these segments is tied to a location in memory. So you can see here the memory associated with each of these segments. Now you've got a block of memory and each one of these eight segment displays has a different block of memory and this one goes from C160 all the way up to C167 so if you load a 1 into that specific memory location that will turn on that segment associated with that in this case that's C160 that would turn this segment on and if it's a zero, it, it turns it off. So what you need to do is shift in to this memory location, uh, an 8-bit word that has ones and zeros uh, located so that it turns on the segments that you want turned on to form a character. So here, if I want to form the letter C, I have to shift bits into positions uh, C 161, 62, 63, and 66 has to have a 1 in it. So here's a 1, 61, 162, 63, 166. And now this is where we see the hexadecimal number system coming in because we're going to enter a hexadecimal number that represents this binary number and that is 4e so we we enter in 4e into our program when we want to display the letter C so here you can see a section of the program that I would have to enter in using the hexadecimal keypad 
this is the address and you can see this sequentially one after another so we have it at address 0030 I enter in the hexadecimal number 37 for the H 30 for the I blanks are you enter in 0 0 0 0 and here's the beginning of E tech 4 F for the letter E 7 0 cr creates this half of the letter T 46 created this half here and then again with the 4 F for E 4 E for C which we already went over the letter C and 3 7 for the letter H and here are some of the equivalent binary numbers that you would have to enter in and you could see that it would definitely be a lot more work a lot more cumbersome and prone to error having to enter in ones and zeros as opposed to entering in the hexadecimal equivalent of those binary numbers so as another example if we wanted to create the letter S we'd have to turn on this segment, this segment here, this one, this segment, and this segment. So to resemble the letter S. So we would have uh, C160, that would be a 1 in that position, 161 would be a 1 in that position. 162 is a 0, 163 a 1, 164 a 1, 165 a 0, 166 is a 1, and don't forget 167 which is the decimal point here with a dot and that's a 0. So we have a binary number 0, 1, zero one one zero one one and if you recall if we want to turn this into a hexadecimal number we just need to break this up into individual four bit binary numbers so right there we have one zero one one and zero one zero one and this here is 11, which is equivalent to B in hexadecimal. And this is 5 in hexadecimal. So we would enter 5B into the, uh, using the hexadecimal keypad. And that binary number so we don't store 5B, we actually store this binary number, but this is what we get to enter in instead of all these ones and zeros. So I hope that gave you a little insight into how these individual segments are being lit uh, by storing a binary number, and in particular uh, a one and a zero in the correct bit location to turn on and off each individual segment to create a character and luckily we're able to enter in the binary information with the hexadecimal keypad and not having to enter in ones and zeros so if you found this video interesting informative feel free to give me a thumbs up subscribe comment and or comment and thanks for watching